what is so important is for us to frame this entire 50 days in death and economic pain, all caused by this guy, his disregard, and his policies. And once we do that, we'll be fine. Once we do that, we have got it under control. I want to, there's a, there's a video that I want to show you. I didn't prepare it at all, but I, I just wanted to show you sort of the evil that's within this guy. It turns out that Donald Trump was in Las Vegas yesterday, or close to Las Vegas, giving one of his speeches in a room with thousands of people stuck together with no masks. And while he's being interviewed, I want you to see what it says here, and then we'll take it on the other side. Of President Trump today, after his weekend trip to Nevada, the president holding his first indoor rally in months just outside Las Vegas last night, attracting thousands of attendees, many of them not wearing masks. One night after people lined up shoulder to shoulder for an outdoor rally in the northern part of the state. Now, the president was openly defying state rules which prohibit gatherings in groups larger than 50 people. Nevada's governor calling the decision to hold the rallies, quote, reckless and selfish. But in a newly released interview with the Las Vegas Review-Journal, Trump says he does not feel he is risking his own health. Aren't you concerned about getting COVID, though, in a closed world? No, I'm not concerned. I'm, I'm more here? concerned about how close you are. <laughs> Sorry about that. Because you know why? I'm, uh -huh. I'm on a stage that's very far away, uh -huh. and so I'm not at all concerned. I want you guys to understand what just happened there. A lot of people would just look at that and say, oh, that's good old Donald Trump. That is good old Donald Trump. But understand what just happened there. There's an outtake of a room filled with his supporters Shoulder to shoulder, breathing each other's, uh, breathing each other's breath. Some of them probably contaminated with COVID. There it is. It's full. A reporter comes to him to interview him. She gets a little bit close to him and said, aren't you kind of concerned about getting COVID? You don't have a mask on. And if you take a look at the room, there's at least a 12 feet, 12 to 20 feet barrier between the stage and all those people, and then you have the cops around that, and then the, the reporter, I don't know, she kind of got close on the stage, and she, he says, she says, aren't you scared about coronavirus, COVID? Oh, no, no, because, but what I'm scared of is look at how close you, you may be a little bit too close to me. He's scared, he is acknowledging that she's too close to him, but he wants all of his followers down there packed to pack right next to each other, killing themselves. That those are the images that we have to show to your your. And remember earlier how I started the program. That is the image that you have to show your folks. Show your people that. Show your grandmother, your grandfather, your aunt, all of those who are wanting to support this guy. Show them. That while he's there to protect himself, he's always tested all the time. He makes sure to stay away from people. He get pissed off when somebody cl every, anywhere close to him is infected. And he showed there on camera that he cares about people getting close to him, but he doesn't give a rat's you know what of those people down there supporting him who may actually get hurt, who may actually get infected. Some of them who will die. I'm Egberto Willis, host of Politics Done Right, an independent news program. I post several news videos of interest every day. I ask you so kindly to subscribe to my channel and please leave me some comments. Thank you very much.